Hey guys, JMM Review here. Um, today I'm bringing you a shorter map than normal. Um, usually my usually matches in Battlefield actually last for like up to 20 minutes. This one's uh, was a little shorter, so I thought I'd upload it. Um, this is my first ever hardcore match. Um, I joined in on a friend, Cole Limes, who was actually playing hardcore mode at the time. Uh, I didn't actually realise it until he told me that we were playing it. Um, but the one thing you really can't not notice is how um, how much better your well, apart from that guy, how much better your gun is. Um, usually, a couple of shots drop someone, and uh, the range on your gun just goes way up because it, you know even a couple of hits usually counts as a kill, whereas before it would take maybe four or five hits at range. So I had a pretty nice little match, and this is a new gun I'm using, the G36C, and uh, it's the I think it's the last gun you unlock with engineer class, and I'm, I've been using it, in fact I, ever since I've unlocked it, I think that's the only engineer gun I've used, so I would recommend getting that one, because before all I was using was the, the kind of default uh, Russian one, the AKS, or default American either as well. But I like this gun because it has a nice, like, fast rate of fire. It seems to drop people really quickly. But it's also useful long range. It's not brilliant long range, but it can do the job sometimes. Like, I think there's a guy down that train down there. I mean, he's quite far away. And I don't know if he was already injured, but it looks like I only hit, one, like, one or two bullets into him. And I got the kill. So, yeah. And this, this map um, is really good for me, I, I like to um, really flank in behind people on it. Because a lot of times, um, if you go to the, just down to the left and up the escalator, there are people just all be with their backs, like, to the escalator up there. Um, sometimes if you can flank right, and you can get like 4 or 5 kills. Whoa, that guy hip out of the seat. Yeah, you can get 4 or 5 kills just by people with their backs to you pretty much, so... You can just see how much more powerful your gun is in this mode than this. I think that's why I really like it. Um, although, in saying that, some really annoying things do happen, and that is uh, you do get team killed a lot on hardcore mode, and I think that's the biggest disadvantage of it. I don't know why they left that end, to be honest. I mean, oh, I don't know, I suppose it is hardcore mode and stuff, but sometimes it's just ridiculous. Like, I think I get team killed here. For absolutely no reason. I mean, I'm just, I'm just sitting minding my own business. I think, yeah. Look, he, this guy just team kills me for no reason. I don't know why. And it wasn't until after I watched the the footage back, but he actually runs over and tries to knife me. Like, why? Why the hell would you do that? But I don't actually realise. I think maybe he done that on purpose. So, but that's just kind of. Luckily, I got revived there. But that's just the kind of. I don't know people you're dealing with sometimes, and that's a reason why I tend to not play hardcore mode too much, because I get angry at people that do that. And I'll admit, I mean, sometimes, accidentally, I'll shit some my own teammate just because you panic, but sometimes it's just not necessary. Like, that time there, I was just standing still minding my own business, and I think I get team killed again somewhere around here. No, I think I get this guy. I mean, he wasn't even on my screen when I killed him there, that's how powerful this gun is. But see, I, I didn't shoot that guy, I wasn't panicking. I think in a minute or two I just walk around a corner and someone completely panics and kills me. Yeah, here. Look at that. Just panics. But at least he had the decency to revive me. But if you don't mind getting team killed ridiculously a lot, I think I actually get team killed one more time, I don't know. But yeah, it's a good game type besides that. I just wish I had the same power on my gun, but didn't have to have the added danger of being killed by my own men all the time. It's, but it's hard enough staying alive just fighting off these enemies. I think I stood in the fire there. 
I've actually killed myself standing in fire in hardcore mode. Your health uh, drags down. I was lucky not to shoot Kalim's in the back of the head there, actually. Um, and the other disadvantage with hardcore mode is you don't get to see your ammo counter. So you have to kind of just guess how much ammo you have, which is kind of annoying also. Um, but I suppose if you run it, you could just whip out your pistol and stuff. And, oh, damn it. And, and strangely, you still have the um, mini-map on the bottom left-hand side of the screen. I think in most games, like hardcore games, you would usually not have that. Um, I think Bad, Bad Company 2 didn't have a mini-map or the ability to spot people. But I can imagine if it's it's bad enough team kill wise on this game, but if without the mini map I think it would just be that little bit worse. Oh damn it. Oh and I've also got my silencer on this gun as well and that's a really important thing if you guys are planning on playing this level or a level that's infantry based and you want to flank behind enemies. You have to get the silencer on there, it's pretty much mandatory. But yeah, this, this video is coming to an end uh, for no reason other than the fact that I lag out. Um, it seems to happen sometimes in Battlefield. You just... Some nights you go on and just like, you just lag out of most games. And which is pretty sad because I was doing really well and I would be interested to see how, if this game finished, how many kills I would have got by the end of it, but... Yeah, I think I'm about to lag out. I think I try and shoot someone and I just lag out. Yeah, there's someone in that doorway. And I'm gone. Oh well, thanks for watching guys anyway.